Hey guys, Agamer1 here, and today I have some convoy gameplay uh, of myself and the Colonel doing a bit of sniping. Now, as uh, you will probably know, I'm not much of a quick scoper, and uh, neither is the Colonel to be honest. We, we both just generally snipe when we are maybe not having such a good day with the assault rifles, or not having such a good day at you know, running into buildings and stuff. So this gameplay was, it was like 10.30 at night, 11ish, and I think it was the last game before we went off, so we just generally had a little chill time sniping. And as you can see right there, I got a bullshit hit marker, and then the colonel took the kill, which kind of annoyed me. But, uh, yeah, you know, this game is pretty much screwed in the hit marker department, but what are you going to do? Um, but, yeah, like I said, it's not really much of a epic gameplay, but I generally hope that most of my viewers and subscribers generally subscribe to me because they enjoy what I talk about, and they enjoy me, <laughs> basically. Um, I don't really think it should all be about gameplay, to be honest, but, you know, everyone has their own opinions on uh, videos and stuff, so, you know, if you're watching it, thanks to my um, commentary, then awesome, thumbs up. Um, if you've come to watch it for the gameplay, you know, just watch it, nothing amazing, but um, I'm pretty sure you'll just enjoy my chit-chat over the top anyway. So, speaking of uh, the Colonel, I actually saw him doing his first driving lesson today, and uh, I was actually right behind him as well in my driver learning car, which is quite funny. Um, he, I think he pulled out of a junction, like, very slowly, I mean, creeping like a snail, but, you know, it's his first time, so, you know, people go slow all the time. But, um, I think I was doing my turn in the road, which is where, if you don't know, haven't started yet, all the references... To you know, all the manoeuvres and stuff, it's just where, say you're going down one side, you want to turn, so you just got to, you know, give it some full uh, right steer, and then reverse it left, and then back off right again, opposite side of the road. So I was doing that, and I don't think he saw me, I think I saw him about three times. Um, I was kind of happy he didn't see me, because I'm pretty sure if he'd seen me doing this uh, turn in the road, he would have got out of the car, walked over, and pulled the biggest troll face imaginable. But uh, thankfully you didn't see me. But, you know, whatever. Um, it's going pretty well, actually. I'm enjoying driving. And that's my fail reactions right there. That really... It's just weird how when you watch gameplay over, that uh, you can generally kind of see what the hell you did wrong. And then while you're in the game, you're just moaning to yourself and shitting and everything at the enemy team. But, um, yeah. Um, if if you're, like, turning 17 soon, or you're thinking of... Uh, learn to drive, you know, no matter how old you are, or whatever the age is in your country. Um, you know, it is it is actually really fun. I mean, at first, before I even started driving, I was worrying about, you know, gears, steering, the car, it's, you know, all that. I, I, it's all natural things, really, that most people do worry about because they've had no experience. Uh, you don't know what to expect, so generally, don't, like, go into your lesson like I did, feeling pretty nervous. I mean... Obviously, you're going to feel nervous because it's your first time. You, you know, things are different. You're noticing changes. This sounds like a sexual lesson, okay? Scratch that. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean. It, it's just it's not your natural environment, and you feel totally different. But you know, you you don't want to spend the couple of weeks going up to your first lesson uh, worrying, really, because it just doesn't help. Just relax, and you know, whatever you do, you do. I mean, my first lesson was. Um, generally sitting in the car for 30 minutes, going uh, the colonel just exploded there into a very f ordinary fashion, which I thought was awesome. But, you know, on your first lesson, you generally just sit there for about 30 minutes, just going through everything in the car, uh, safety checks, seat belts, you know, all that car stuff. <laughs> um, you know, and then I think I had about half an hour of just generally practicing, stop, um, starting, pulling off from the road, going down a bit, and then turning back in, pulling back into the uh, pathway and stuff. That's generally what I did for my first lesson, and usually that's probably what most people would do for their first lesson as well. Um, you might have a bit more driving time on like I did, but, you know, to be honest, just don't worry about it. It's pretty much simple. You get the idea. Obviously, I'm already in my lessons now, about two months in. Um, which is now a good time to actually start booking my theory test because the sooner I get that done out of the way then the sooner I can actually do my driving test and then pass and get my own car and it'll be awesome and epic and I'll go down to Burger King every day and buy my own burgers so <laughs> that's a good deal um, but yeah you know just basically relax um, 
you know, there's no point in worrying like I've been saying over and over. Just chill. Um, a good thing really is to go on YouTube and maybe type in uh, learning videos for driving because they usually give you some good tips on there which I didn't do at first but I've been doing a bit more now trying to you know get your head into the thinking of driving and stuff so I recommend doing that um, so yeah like I've been saying again for the, the fifth time um, if you um, are interested in me to, uh, driving and you want to hear some more I don't know let's say um, stories because it sounds awesome um, some stories or just my general um, history so far of doing my driving lessons then that would be really cool I'd love to do that for some videos if you wanna um, hear me talk about my driving lessons and stuff then please leave comments below um, if you want to or if you know anything just leave it below that's cool but um, anyway again the rant is now over I am now moving on to the actual map so this is Convoy, and it's basic, I think it's in America, yes it's in America, like the American uh, garage there. Um, but what it is, it's basically a big highway, which if you haven't got the map yet, um, it's a medium map, I wouldn't say it's large. Um, I, I don't know, it's kind of um, in between the size maybe of launch and G-Rid. And I mean grid by G grid. That's just how I say it. <laughs> but that's about the size of it. Um, and the good thing I like about this map is that it's suited for everyone's gameplay. I mean, you got some tight buildings, corridors, and alleyways you can go through with a nice old Spaz 12 shotgun. You know, just blow people away. But then it's also got some really good gunfight perches for sniping, as you've probably seen so far. Um, I have been going. Ugh, pardon me. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't swallow. <laughs> That's what she said. Moo, I'm just joking. That's just dirty. But yeah, as you've been seeing me do, I've been going on the uh, kind of walkways above the uh, highway, and that's just a really fun sniping thing. Because if you've ever played Call of Duty Five, which is World at War, um, myself and the Colonel had some really, really fun times having proper sniper wars. You know, I don't mean any of this quick scope crap or any of this 360 bullshit. I mean proper sniper wars where you'd be in a bush, you'd be trying to scout your enemy, pick them off, you know, like that, and I think the best map for that was Cliffside, and there was also a map in the map pack 3 that came out uh, two years ago, which was a really good map, loads of buildings, um, it was in Berlin, I don't know, one of those walls, I don't know what it's called, but whatever, you know, that's what I like, I like how Treyarch uh, have listened to the community a bit more, and they are trying to get sniping back in maps, while you can choose to be a shotgunner, or an assault rifle. And uh, I think uh, in a minute or two, oh no, I've already got it, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Um, yeah, I think from here I start using the assault rifle more, because I generally thought that the gameplay myself I was doing was going a bit slow, uh, this sniper rifle. So I generally thought, fuck it, let's whip my dick out. <laughs> so I got the FAMAS, and I generally uh, just started to get some kills of it, and I believe I get dogs at the end. So that's pretty cool. But um, again, this game, you will see noticeably that I'm sticking to the outskirts of the map, throwing the odd decoy as you just saw there, because I know there's a guy around here, and I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Problem. There you go, killed him. That's what decoy grenade to do, because he was looking that way generally. Um, I had a blackbird, I think, or UAV of some sort. And, you know, just throwing it over, it just confuses them, because... Most people do tend to know when it is a decoy by the sound. If you listen, it's kind of a very... Um, it's usually the sound of an MP5K or a FAMAS, but it's, it sounds... I don't know, it's the burst sound a bit longer than it would be if a normal uh, player was actually firing a gun. It sounds like too long or, you know... Well, yeah, I can't, exp I can't really explain it, but you get the idea of what I mean. So, if you're ever thinking... Um, enemies throwing a decoy, just listen out for it, um, see how it moves, usually a decoy will just land and bounce around in the same area, um, so that's another thing to look out for decoys. But um, yeah, that's generally what I do again, decoy grenades are really helpful, and uh, as you know I do play to the outskirts of the map, because it's generally my play style, you know, I don't camp, I just like to control, and yes, like I said yes, uh, not yesterday, yes yesterday, bleh, on my zoo commentary, where about me catching flags, you know, I felt generous there, I caught the flag, and then what happens? A fucking green arrow jumps on and takes all the points just for the hell of it, just to piss me off. But, uh, come to the end now, guys. So, 
I'm going to give uh, this map an 8 to 9 out of 10. I generally like it. I think it's v uh, very well suited to all game types, uh, all game plays, styles. You know, people have got all of their different, uh, you know, sniping, shotguns, whatever. So this map definitely recommend playing on. Um, you don't really need a party. Just uh, you, maybe a friend, and uh, have some good time sniping. So guys, this has been a game of one, and uh, the next video will be either a Dragovich troll face, which I'm going to try and make tonight. You'll see what I mean by Dragovich troll face uh, later on in the week when I upload it. And uh, the next commentary should be a review of one of the new maps. I've completely forgot the names of them, but whatever, that's me. That's what that's how I roll. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace.